everyone, this is Mary from Studio Us again, and we're bringing you another project that you can do right at home. Today we're going to be drawing a really beautiful flower and we're going to be coloring with oil pastels. So as always, I have my drawing paper ready to go and a pencil, a pearl eraser, and a Sharpie. I marked the center of my page as always as a guide. And I went ahead and I drew our first step, which is going to look like this little teardrop or egg shape right here. It's directly in the center of our page and it's pretty small. So go ahead and mark the top and bottom and then take two curved lines to come around to a slightly rounded point up top. And let's keep going. We're gonna add another shape right here that's going to overlap our first one. So I'm going to mark where it's going to overlap exactly. Uh, and it's a little wavy here when it overlaps. Then it's going to come outward and come down and around. We're drawing our first petal. So I'm going to come down and out And I'm just getting that initial shape in there. Again, it's not uh, too big. This is where the bottom of it should be. Coming out and back in like this. I'm gonna go ahead and draw that in. Clean up any lines you need to. These are very organic shapes. So if you need to add a little bump here or there, go ahead and do that. I'm going to accentuate this uh, bump just a little bit further. Perfect, let's keep going. All right, we have another shape that we're going to add right here. It looks like it's going to meet this uh, second shape we made right about here. Come out to about here before it comes around back to about right here. So I'm gonna give myself some dotted lines to make sure I get this shape correct. Perfect. We have another shape over here. This one's going to start right about here. There's not a lot of space from the second shape we made to our next uh, flower or petal. It looks like it's going to extend from right about here and it's going to come out pretty far. I'm gonna to say to right about here. I'm gonna give myself some dotted lines and pay attention to those curves and little bumps. All right, very good. And then we have a petal coming up this way. Looks like it's about that tall and it's going to start pretty close to the top of that uh, egg shape, um, slightly over to the left. And it looks like it's going to meet back about right here. So this is gonna go up and over like this before it comes to a point and then curves around and back down to there. Very good, let's keep going. All right, we have a shape in here that looks like it's going to start about right here and meet our, full, our uh, petal to the right or right above it, right about here. It's not uh, too tall. I'm gonna mark those uh, where I see the bottom of that uh, petal. I'm gonna go ahead and connect those lines. Perfect. We have another one over here that looks like it's going to meet this petal right about here and the petal above it right about here. I'm gonna give myself some dotted lines to get those curves in there. Excellent, and then we have another petal over here. This one's a very, very silly shape. Uh, it's going to touch this petal here, uh, but then start, come, start to come up right over here.
Let's add the shape in here because it's quite large. It's going to start about here. Come up to about this point here. And it's going to curve between these, these lines. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a dotted line in there. And it looks like it's going to come out to about here before coming in slightly and into the plant here. So again, gonna give myself a few dotted lines to get that shape in there. We have a small petal in here that's just going to round out to a, a rounded point and then connect back to the petals around it. So it's gonna come up like this and in like that, perfect. We have a petal down here that's going to hit the bottom of our page. It looks like it's going to start right about here and come over and around like like this before it comes back up and over like that. Excellent. Don't forget this big petal over here. This one's going to extend from about right here And it's going to come over to this corner really, really far over here. So I'm going to mark where I think that point is and how it's going to uh, curve over by this edge, this left side of the paper, before it comes in and up to about right here on this petal. And it's going to come up this to that petal there. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and draw that in and then clean up any lines that I need to. Right now, I'm just trying to get the general shapes in there. And then after drawing them in, I can add a few more bumps or points as I see uh, by our picture. It's, it's hard to sort of draw that out exactly um, because these are completely organic shapes. All right, it looks like we're adding a, a stem or a leaf here. So I'm going to go ahead and bring that line down before it, it hits a, a point or a corner and then comes outward. Same thing, follow that and just double that line. Just like that, perfect. We're going to add what looks like a leaf or a petal over here. This one's going to come over and almost hit that edge before coming down into a point and then back in to this shape below it. We have another shape right here. This one is uh, closed and pretty simple. It looks like it's going to start right about here and come upwards. and then back towards that shape, just like this. It's essentially um, a point that's extending off of the page. And then finally, another shape over here. This one's going to start pretty close to this uh, shape we just made. So I'm going to start it right about here and it looks like it's going to meet this petal right about here. Uh, it's going to come up. We have some bends and wrinkles and over like this. I'm going to leave that there because this shape will come up and over like this. So go ahead and draw those lines in. 
and I'll show you what I'm gonna do. So now that we have this sort of hook, this is like a little loop where the, the petal or the leaf bends and it's going to wrap around and just straight line back in. It's folded over like that. So we're seeing the opposite side of it. So that looks good and let's move forward. All right, I see a shape right about here. Again, pretty simple. This one's just a curved line like that. Perfect. I'm gonna curve it out just a little more actually. Excellent. We have a shape here between these two uh, that's going to extend off the page. It's gonna come off and over like that and over like that. Perfect. We have another shape here. Uh, this one is going to come down and over. There's going to create a little uh, space uh, right there before coming back over and around. Don't forget there's one tiny uh, petal or leaf right here. It's going to come down to a point and then back around and up to that stem. Excellent. Now we're gonna go ahead and add some lines to this flower. I am going to start up top and work my way around. So I'm gonna start with this petal here. There's a line starting at the point and following that uh, curve on the left side of that flower, perfect. I see a line here starting from this point and coming down to about here. It's a slightly bendy, wavy line, just like that. Excellent. I see another line here, just going directly off the page and back in towards the middle. I see two lines here, one starting right about here and going out towards the point, and one here starting at this point and almost getting all the way to that. Perfect. There's a small, slightly curved line right here and a line right there. Right here on this petal, which was the second shape that we made, there's a line that's going to touch the edge before coming around, getting kind of wavy and coming over to the other side. Perfect, just like that. There's a line here starting at this point. I'm getting wavy and coming almost all the way to this point. Same thing, there is a line here starting at the edge before getting a little curvy and bendy and coming over like this, indicating that uh, shape of the flower, that sort of roundedness of that petal. We have a wavy line here. I see a line right here, right about here. There's a line coming off of this shape here and off the page. And then a smaller line here. Perfect. This looks great. All right, we're gonna add four tiny little, uh, almost mini eggs or little bumps right here along this line. They're not too high and they all touch each other. Let's go ahead and get those in. Same thing, I see five in this next step. So go ahead, just same size, not too big. We're just building up the center of this flower. All right, and then we're going to erase away those edges. So go ahead, get rid of that and clean up those edges and any lines you need to. Those little bumps from the center of our flower should then form a sort of jaggedy edge for that center. 
All right, and now that we've done that, we're ready to go over our picture with Sharpie and then take our pearl eraser and erase any pencil lines we have left. Let's get to it. All right, now that we've drawn this beautiful flower, it turned out great, we can go ahead and start coloring. I'm going to be using oil pastels to color this picture, but obviously use whatever you have available to you. If you are using oil pastels like I am, it would be helpful to have a Kleenex on hand so you can wipe down your oil pastels if you need to, if they get too messy, and to keep under your hand as you color. You wanna keep it under uh, this side of your hand, of your palm because when you're moving, it's going to bleed onto your hand. You can tell I already got some marker on there from earlier. So go nice and slow, nice and clean, and we can start coloring. I'm going to use this light purple first, and I'm going to fill in uh, the top half of my background. It gets to be a darker purple towards the bottom, and I will take a darker purple after that. Go ahead, fill in the entire background, and do little tiny wiggles we don't wanna see really any white coming through from the paper. All right, like I said, now I'm going to be taking a darker purple and I'm gonna overlap this lighter purple that I did just a little bit because oil pastels blend really nicely. And then I can fill in the bottom half of my background. All right, I'm gonna take a little bit of a dark blue and just build up a little bit on top of this darker purple. All right, very good. That background looks beautiful. Now we can go ahead and start building up our flower. I'm gonna start with this brown stem first and then go to our green leaves. So I'm gonna take a light brown and I'm gonna color in that stem and then build in some highlights and shadows on top of it. I see just a, a few highlights on this left side. I'm just gonna take a nice uh, tan and block that in. Before uh, taking a darker brown or even a black, I don't really see many dark browns. Uh, and putting in a little bit of a sh uh, shadow on the right side of the stem. Uh, one important thing to know is you can always take your original color and go back in and layer that on top uh, if you need to. Perfect. So now let's start building up our leaves. We have some beautiful light uh, greens. And so I'll use this uh, bright neon green color to get those highlights in before going in with more of a, a regular base green and then some darker green shadows. So I'm gonna go ahead and go around with all of the leaves and block in those highlights. All right, as you can see, I blocked in those highlights uh, pretty loosely because again, we can layer in the rest of the colors on top, um, which looks really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and take my sort of base green. This one's been worn down to a nub and I'm gonna fill in the rest of my leaves before I then go back in with my shadows. All right, and now that we've gone over sort of the base uh, shades of green, we can go ahead and take a darker green. I'm gonna go ahead and take this here, sort of like a hunter green, and I'm gonna find those darkest points and block in those shadows. I might, uh, after doing that, take my regular green again and just touch things up. Remember, you can layer.
All right, those leaves are done and they look wonderful. Now we can start uh, coloring in our flower. This one has lots of different shades of pink um, and some whites and, and super light highlights. So I'm going to take this very pale pink here and I am going to block in all of those highlights. Um, again, we're going to layer up really nicely. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, now that we went ahead and blocked in our lightest shades of pink, I'm gonna go ahead and take a slightly darker pink and build in the rest of my flower. Now there are some super uh, white highlights and some super dark shadows. We'll get to those after we sort of get these base colors in. All right, excellent. I am going to now take a, an even darker pink and I am going to find the darkest pinks I can find. I'm going to layer those in and then I can go in with that nice, beautiful light purple and sort of build up those shadows and it'll help give us some shape to each of our individual petals. So now go ahead and just block those in, really, really uh, use them to give some shape to our flower. All right, now that I've blocked in those darker pinks, I'm gonna take my uh, slightly lighter pink again and just sort of clean those areas up before adding my purple. All right, now that I've cleaned up those areas, I'm gonna go ahead and take a light purple and I'm going to very, very lightly uh, block in those purple areas or, or layer those on top. Those are mostly uh, as shadows, so go ahead and get those in. That looks awesome. I'm gonna take a slightly darker purple, uh, probably the one that I used for the, the top, and just add a little bit more shadow in there where I see that purple. Excellent. Once I've done that, I can go ahead and take a nice white. Again, these have been used down to the little nub and go back in and touch up any highlights you see. Just those very, very lightest parts of our flower. All right, our flower looks beautiful. Uh, last but not least, we have to color in our center uh, of our flower. So I'm going to take a nice light yellow and I'm just gonna color the whole thing before going in uh, with some oranges and getting a few of those shadows. This is so very tiny, so do your very best with it. It might get a little messy. the center of our flower. I'm going to take a, a yellowish orange and I'm going to just get in a little touch of shadow here and there. And then just a little more orange, slightly darker this time. And that's our project. It looks great. Thanks so much for tuning in and be sure to send Studio Us some pictures of what you've made. We hope to see you guys soon. Stay safe.